Hello and welcome. Today's project's all about cold showers and why cold showers helps you overcome anxiety, but it also improves your physical health as well. Now, Wim Hof, he's sweeping the internet with his Wim Hof breathing and also through his cold showers. But why is it having such a great impact on him? Why has he become this Iceman character? Well, it's because he suffered from uh, uh, mental health challenges in his past. His wife passed away, his life became chaotic, and he found clarity, mental clarity through the ice, through the cold water. Now, that's interesting. How can that happen? So in this video, I'm going to talk about why cold showers is important for your day-to-day -day life, both mentally and physically. Now, when, when you get in that cold shower, you're gonna make a lot of excuses not to, not to go in there, <laughs> but it's important to, to know before going into that cold shower why it's important so that you can actually get in there and do it. So, I wanna first talk, talk about the beginnings of my anxiety recovery. When I was going through my anxiety recovery, when I was going through this hell, this chaos, I started to improve different aspects of myself. Now, once I started to improve, once my eyes became awakened to my insufficiencies, that's one of the, I think that's the first step, is to recognize that, oh man, I'm just so insufficient. I have all of these uh, issues and I've been causing all of this pain myself. No one else has been causing it, but me, it's been me creating this hell that I've been living in. And so recognizing that makes you become awakened. So I became awake to, oh man, I have to take responsibility for my anxiety. I have to start to improve all the different things that's, that's been making my life hell. And so I started to do that and I, and I started to progress to a goal to an aim and through the, that progression, through facing those challenges, I got a dopamine kick each time I proved my old self wrong. I became, I, I was like, oh, this is cool. Like I'm becoming different. I didn't know I could do this before. And so I, that made me wanna seek out more challenges more and more challenges. So the, the, one of the challenges I was facing uh, is the cold shower challenge as, as, as well as many other challenges at the same time. So when an anxiety sufferer is suffering and in this chaos, they're really unconscious, right? They're unconscious, they're not aware of their, their negative attributes. They're not aware of the habits that they're doing that's causing them to re remain in this anxious identity, this chaotic state. And so the view of the world is very narrow. They're unconscious, right? Have you ever been around somebody who's, who's said to you, you know, why do all these negative things happen to me? Why am I always in negative relationships? Why can't I ever, you know, have something good in my life? And so they, they're unconscious that they're the ones causing that negative uh, energy to manifest, right? Their habits, their mindset. And so they're unable to become awakened and, and pursue the proper path because they're just so unconscious. Not, they're not even aware that there is a path to follow. So I hope that this channel, I hope that this video helps with that path, the path towards enlightenment, but also the path towards being awakened, to being awakened to all of the insuffic insufficiencies that you're manifesting. So make sure you subscribe and follow me because I have everything related to anxiety recovery, but also related to the path to that ideal you, right? Everything that's going to help you achieve the, the person that you've always wanted to become. And so that brings me to cold showers. So cold showers was one of the challenges I faced when going through recovery. And why I was attracted to this challenge was because of the improvements Wim Hof was talking about. And 
as a former anxiety sufferer, health anxiety sufferer, I was so uh, obsessed over my health. I was obsessed over the little different marks on my body. I thought they were diseases. I was always constantly checking myself to see if I was okay. So this cold shower challenge, or now it's a lifestyle for me because I've been doing cold showers for two years now. So it's been a long time. Uh, it's just my lifestyle now. I never take hot showers. The only times I took hot showers was when I went camping once because the only available water was was hot. And um, another time, it was the same idea. In Florida, the water wasn't cold enough. It was just warm. So those were the only times in the past two years that I've taken warm to hot showers. So I love cold showers because when I started to take cold showers, I, I, I knew that there were health benefits to that. And so when I was suffering from health anxiety, I needed to add evidence to why I am healthy because I have strong beliefs. I have strong support systems in my unconscious holding up this identity of being unhealthy. That's why I was so obsessed because I had strong beliefs that I'm unhealthy. So I had to start to chip away at those pillars, making up this anxious identity to prove to myself that I am in fact healthy. And cold showers was the one of the reasons why I, I started them to prove to myself that I am in fact healthy because I was suffering deeply and worried about my health continuously. So cold showers was one of the reasons why, um, to a, a health anxiety sufferer, why it's so important to do. So let's talk about the mental reasons. Why is cold showers important? Well, what happens when you, when you get into a cold shower? Before you even get under the water, you feel the water, it's freezing cold. What happens? Well, there's a thousand and one excuses that come up in your mind why you shouldn't go in there. So you're gonna make up a thousand excuses. You may even avoid the shower and, and, and go clean your room. Or you might go walk the dog. You'll do something challenging, but less challenging than the cold shower. And so cold showers is important because you're bypassing all of those negative thoughts. That's interesting, right? You're, 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 you're pushing away all of those negative thoughts and you're getting in that damn shower. You're, you're, you're just becoming a different person. You're, you're actually stimulating new circuitry in your brain when you do that. Because the old identity, the old Brad would be like, oh, I'm just gonna avoid all challenges. That's the and that's the anxiety sufferer, the Brad that's like, I'm just going to avoid everything that's, that's challenging and, and just live on Pleasure Island. But no, I decided, you know what, I'm going to get in that damn shower. I'm not going to listen to that voice anymore. I'm going to bypass that. I'm going to jump in that shower and I'm going to, I'm going to stimulate new parts of me, new circuitry. Yes. It's like a swordsmith uh, forging a sword. What happens? You put it under intense heat, you hammer the crap out of that sword, and you flip it, and you keep hammering it, and you keep putting it in that heat. So you have to put it under intense heat for it to forge. What do you have to do with your mind? If, if, you, if you believe you have a weak mind, if you, if you are worried about your health, if you are suffering for a long time, what happens when you put yourself in intense situations? You're forging a new mind. You're hardening your mind. You're changing new circuitry. That's why cold showers is important. That's why you should be doing cold showers. You're disciplining yourself. Anxiety sufferers are not disciplined. They're not. They live on Pleasure Island. They avoid all anxious situations, all challenging situations. So the more you go and place yourself in challenging situations, the more you're going to face 
other challenging situations. So for example, you going into that cold shower, facing that cold shower in the morning, you're more likely to face other challenges throughout the day. Also, you get a dopamine high when you get out of the cold shower. You're like, oh, I can't believe I did it. I feel good. Oh man, I didn't want to go in there, but I did it anyways, and I'm so proud of myself. So you get that high, which is super cool. That's important too. Now, there are also physical sides to it. So like I said before, I was proving to myself that I am healthy. So the physical parts of it is you're actually improving blood through blood flow throughout the body when you get out of that cold shower all your body is red you're stimulating blood vessels which is super cool you're actually working your heart in a good in a good way you know you're improving your health but also when you get under the cold water you go <gasps> you breathe you breathe deeply so you're breathing heavily in that cold shower and thus you are your blood becomes alkaline. You're at your, your, there's more oxygen in your body. You feel more relaxed after the cold shower. That's so cool too. And also, this is cool, it lowers cortisol, which is the stress hormone. So when you get into a cold shower, if you have a lot of stress, if you're worried about a bunch of things throughout the day or, or, or if you're worried about your health, you get under that cold shower, what happens? You instantly forget what you're worried about, the anxiety that you're you're that, that you're you're going through. Because you're focused on the cold water. That's all you can think about. <gasps> it's freezing. So you forget about all of the things that that's making you anxious. That your health, your health situation, your anxiety, your depression, the chaos around you, you forget it for that moment. And so that's pretty cool too. So there's a lot of benefits to taking cold showers. Oh man, that sun just came out of nowhere. <laughs> but there's a lot of benefits to taking cold showers and I urge you to start doing that now. And, and I've felt all of these benefits and, and they are real. So start taking cold showers, you won't regret it. It's a challenge, but we need challenges. We need to to, to progress somewhere in life. There, there is some sort of ideal, right? You have to have some sort of ideal. And when you progress towards that ideal, when you start to do things out of your comfort zone and do them and successfully do them, you get the dopamine high and thus happiness comes when you watch yourself progressing. And that's where I'm going to leave you on today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And remember, do not let anxiety define who you are. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell so that whenever a new video of mine appears, you will be the first to know. Namaste.